Hi everyone, I'm Amy and you're watching The Daily Stir. Hope you had a great weekend. Let's kick off this week with some excitement, shall we? I've got a story about our brand new Miss USA, a fish eating a prosthetic arm, and news about space, the final frontier. Stick around. Pop quiz. Who likes glittery pink gowns, band camp, and transgender pageant contestants? This would be Olivia Culpo of Cranston, Rhode Island. Olivia won the Miss USA competition last night and wowed the crowd with her beauty, her brains, and her politics. The 20-year-old college sophomore played cello for 13 years, and when asked how'd she feel if a transgender woman won the title, Olivia replied that she'd have no problem with it. People were happily surprised by her forward thinking and candid response. But I was simply thrilled that she didn't mention how people in the nation don't have maps and such as. It sounds like a subplot of an episode of Arrested Development, but what happened Memorial Day weekend in Florida is anything but fake. Jack Wiseman, a wounded war vet, was participating in a fishing tournament when he got a big bite. As he tried to reel in the feisty fish, his prosthetic arm was popped loose and the fish pulled the rod and his prosthetic hand back out to sea. Later, on another boat down current, a man got more than he bargained for when he reeled in a fish that had a rod, a reel, and a hand attached to it. Awesomely, the hand loser and the hand catcher were able to meet up back on shore for one hilarious exchange. No word on what they ended up doing with the fish, but something tells me there was a deep fried feast complete with a side of beer battered fries. And revenge. Let's hear it for the private sector because Dragon, the first non-government spaceship, landed safely at the International Space Station on Friday. The smooth launch and landing marked a milestone for private space travel, and as a Space Camp alumna, and therefore resident expert on all things aeronautical, I'd like to go ahead and ceremoniously state that officially speaking, space is awesome. I mean, I've been there, or at least trained to go, so I should know. I'm a little surprised that no one at SpaceX reached out to me for my opinion on landing Dragon at the International Space Station. But whatevs. Hey, what did two comets say when they meet? Nice to meteor. Still got it. Mark Wahlberg is today's extra sugar. Marky Mark. Wait, are we allowed to call him that anymore? Mr. Wahlberg stars in the new movie Ted in theaters later this month. Written by the guys who brought us Family Guy, the movie is about a grown man and his teddy bear who comes to life as the result of a childhood wish. If I had my childhood wish, Marky Mark would have come to life from my Seventeen magazine. Oops, I mean Mr. Wahlberg. Tell me, what's your favorite Mark Wahlberg project? The Calvin Klein ads? His days as a rapper? His cameos on Entourage? Let me know in the comments below. And subscribe to our YouTube page and like the stir on Facebook. Thanks. That's all the time we have for today. But I'll be back tomorrow. See you then.